Hello everyone and welcome to my first mermaid anime review or as I like to call it mermaid in my anime more likely than you think. In this first episode I'm going to tell you about Orangino Furochicho, also known as mermaid in my top. It's a short anime series which means that all of the episodes are only about 4 minutes long and there are 13 of them so it won't take long to watch the whole series. The anime is about teenage boy Tatsumi who finds a passed out merman Wakasa from a river shore and brings him home. The merman then decides that he doesn't want to leave because the river where he lives is polluted and it's much nicer to live in a warm bath. They don't mention Tatsumi's age in the anime at least. They do mention he is underage, which means he is under 21, that much we know. But he does also go to work and live alone, so he is not a schoolboy anymore. Tatsumi is slightly poor and he tries to save money where he can, but it's not always easy because Wakasa likes to take hot baths like all the time. And because Wakasa is a merman, he needs to constantly be in the water. If he tries out, he passes out. Besides Tatsumi and Wakasa, the anime includes some of Wakasa's friends, who are all some kind of mer people. We have Takasu, the half octopus, who is my personal favorite. Then we have Mikuni, the jellyfish. <laughs> and then we have Maki, the snail, who if you ask me, is the weirdest of the group. Then we also have Tatsumi's little sister, Kasumi, who comes to visit her brother every now and then. And she also has kind of a big brother complex. The anime doesn't really have a plot, it's just slice of life. The episodes consist mostly of the mer people being silly with occasional fun service being thrown around. The show also has a very misleading, edgy kind of opening. The music is rock and the video is mostly grayscales and kind of dramatic shots. And then the anime itself is pretty much bright and pastel colors and just playing around in a bathtub. Maybe because the anime takes place in mostly one room, the animation in it is pretty nice. It looks good. It looks pretty. In many short anime series, the animation is done pretty cheaply, but not in this case. The anime is from 2014 and it can be watched on Crunchyroll. It's based on a manga with the same name from 2011 and it's been released in English by Seven Seas. There are currently six volumes with at least two more coming. I haven't read the manga so I don't know how much longer the story is. But according to the covers I've seen there are at least some characters we didn't see in the anime. And because of that, there's always a possibility of a new season, which I do hope comes, because I kind of like this anime, even though it was a bit silly and it had its flaws, but it was mostly charming. I think that was mostly all of what I wanted to say about this series. If you like Merman, go give it a try and watch it. And yeah, until next time, stay hydrated!